Hi guys, in this video, I will show you how to set up FTP connection on your EC2 Windows instance. So let's get started. First, log in on your AWS account. So here, I'm already logged in. You can see from the AWS services, let's go on and click EC2. And let's launch an instance. So here, let's choose our Windows, Microsoft Windows Server 2016 base. Let's select this one. Let's go and choose the free tier. We can leave the others uh, their default values. Now, I will create a new pair. I'll name it FTP connection. Okay, I'm going to download it for the connection later. Now, I will launch the instance. Okay, so let's go on to our EC2 instances. Now, we can see that it's currently pending. Uh, I will pause the video for a while until this one has finished updating. Okay, now that we can see that the instance state is running and the status checks uh, shows T over 2, let's go and create our Elastic IP and attach it to this instance. So go to your Elastic IP. Let's allocate new address. So we have our Elastic IP now and then we will associate this Elastic IP to our instance. So this is the instance that we have just created and this is its private IP and now let's click on associate. Okay, now let's go back to our instance and let's edit the security group of this instance that will allow us to connect using the FTP. So you can see here the security groups associated to this instance. Click on that. Let's go to the inbound rule and edit it. Okay, we add custom TCP 2021. So we will be using these ports for later when we log in our EC2. So let's save that. So now we can go on and connect to our instance. We get the password using the key pair that we have created earlier. So copy this one here. Okay, let's log in. Limit FTP connection. Sorry about that, I double click, it should be edit. So administrator. And the password. Okay, save it there and let's try connecting. Okay, now we have login on our EC2. To have the FTP connection, we have to install the FTP server. 
So we can do that by going to our server manager. And here, we're going to be configuring this local server and adding roles and features. Okay, so there we can see the also servers here, so we can go on and add roles and features. Let's click on next, role base or feature base installation, yes. We select the server that we have now, we look for it, our role, let's click on Web IIS. This one. Okay. And then here, yeah, we have the .NET framework. It's okay. Next on the uh, IIS role services, the FTP server is here. So make sure to check on that. Then we click next and then we install. Restart if required. Then install. So this will also take some time. I'm going to pause the video and come back when the installation has been finished. Okay, now we can see that the installation has been finished. Let's close this window. Okay. And then let's go and create users. Go into your computer management. there so on the local groups and user click on this and let's create a new group let's call the group FTP users let's close this and go to the user and create a new user I'm going to call my new user as Optimus Prime. And then click on the password that you like. Okay, let's create this one. And then double click on that user. We have to add this user as a member of the FTP that we have created. So click on the advanced, find now, and click on the FTP user that you have created earlier. Click on that, okay, and then let's apply it. Okay, so we have now our user. Now let's go on to our IIS again to set up the to set up the FTP connection. So click on your server and then let's create an FTP site. Let's call it FTP. And then you can make the new folder. I'm gonna make the new folder on the C as FTP. Okay, then I click on the next. Because I don't have the SSL yet, I can just know SSL, but if you do have, you can just click on require and then select the SSL certificate that you have. Okay, so click on no SSL, and then we click on the basic specified roles or user group. This is the one that we have created, which is the FTP users. 
click on that. Make sure that this one is the same as the one that you have created earlier. And then let's click on finish. Okay, so we have the FTP side. And then now I will be configuring the FTP firewall support. So double click on that. And earlier we have created the port range on our um, AWS. So here on the security group, I will just show you quickly here. So we will be using that on our server. So there and for our external IP, so go back again to your instance and then copy this one. Okay, let's apply it there. And then you can see that this one has also been updated, the one for your FTP site. Okay, so let's restart the server to make sure that the changes have been made. Okay, there. So you can see that the user has login. So meaning that my FTP is up and running for the local uh, host, but we have to set it up such that we will be able to access it from outside. So let's go to control panel. And go to your systems and security mm. so which is the allow an app to windows firewall now let's look for the app that we want so click on browse and search for the svc host that exe okay open this one we add this one and then click on the private as well so let's click on OK. And then we go to the services and restart the server. So you can go again to your computer management, go to the services over here. and search for the Microsoft FTP service. So restart this one. Okay, we're good. And this one as well. Okay, so now let's go on and try our connection. So I'm gonna look for an image first. Image. So let's try our FTP connection using that. Okay, host, our host would be the one on the uh, Google EC2, this one. Click on that, copy. Normal, our user is Optimus Prime. And the password. Okay, so you can see that we have been successfully logged in and we are on the directory. So let's go to our downloads folder and oops where am I sorry downloads here still not yet upload 
loading. Oh, here. Sorry. Okay, download that JPEG so we can see that it has been uploaded. Now let's go back again to our server to make sure that we were able to actually upload that file. Okay, let's go to the C in our FTP folder. So here, we can see that we have successfully uploaded the image. So that's it for our tutorial today. I hope that you're able to learn something and apply it on your own uh, launching of instance and FTP connection. Goodbye!